Lead generation is the gold mine of your real estate business. What if you changed your mindset surrounding lead generation and turned those things that you love to do day in, day out in your normal life into a prospecting gold mine? Would that change the trajectory of your business and your life possibly forever? I think it might. So stay tuned and in this video, I will show you how you can change your mindset surrounding lead generation and absolutely crush your real estate goals. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, The Realtor Playbook. I'm Jeremy Kane. I have built a successful real estate business here in the Denver, Colorado area. Would love to help you build your business on your terms, build that customized game plan for you. If you're interested, hit the link in the comments. Would love to book a one-on-one -on -one call with you to help you change your mindset and get you into the game and win at the game of real estate. If you, this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button. If you're interested in learning more, make sure you hit the bell. I always love uh, likes and comments. I respond to all my comments and would love to start a conversation about you building your business the way you want to build it. The key to any real estate business is absolutely lead generation. What if we were able to change your mindset surrounding lead generation and get you maybe into a different space when it comes to converting those leads into prospects, into clients, into lifelong relationships? That's absolutely what we're interested in doing, so let's talk about how we do it. We all know about those traditional, true and hard real estate lead generation tactics. Open houses, cold calling, door knocking, uh, floor time, all of those things that we hear in, and all the old school people are like, you gotta go door knock, you gotta do four by four, you gotta do all this. Absolutely, those things are 100% convertible if that's what you're into. If that's your thing and you're good at it, you will absolutely crush it. Keep going. But if you are hate cold calling, you don't wanna do it, but then you throw thousands of dollars at Zillow or thousands of dollars at Facebook ads each and every month, the honest truth is those are cold calls too. So let's find a different way to build your real estate business without having to do things you don't like to do. So let's start here. Let's think about all the other interactions you do every single day, whether that's going to your kids' games, uh, playing in sports yourself, going to church. Um, what else do we do? All the community events, maybe we volunteer at a local veterinary clinic. There's all kinds of things that we love to do and that we do every single day. So what if we took those things that you do in your free time, that you do for fun, and take a little bit of a strategic approach and turn that into your lead generation. The whole truth and the whole reason that people like to work with their sphere is because they are interacting with people that are like them, that are in the same space as them, that absolutely share the same values as them. And we all know that if you're working with people across the table that have a lot in common with you, we absolutely have a better time and enjoy our time serving those and helping them get into homes. So let's start there. If you were like most realtors getting going in this business or who have been in it for a long time, you definitely like that second subset of lead generation versus the top. So let's get comfortable and let's get strategic around those activities. The honest truth is, the more comfortable you are, the better you convert. The less experience you have in real estate, the less confident you will be and the less successful you will be on the cold calls and the door knocks and you know the open houses and things like that. Absolutely, you can get better with those with practice and we will talk about getting outside of your comfort zone and expanding your business in different ways. But if we're just to the ground level or just wanna take our business to the next level, let's do things and focus on the comfortability piece and get good at the things we enjoy to do and turn that into our lead generation gold line. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take out a piece of paper and I want you to write down five things that you absolutely love to do that involve more than five people. So take those notes, get it out, and let's jot it down. Is it going to those kids' games? Is it volunteering in your community? Going to the bars or restaurants? There's so many things that we can absolutely look to to generate these five things. Once we've narrowed down those five things, let's take a look at what they are. Okay, so let's say you have neighborhood events, going out to eat or going to a bar, um, going to a kid's game. Now, what can you do at those things that will absolutely put you in the spotlight? If it's a church gathering, maybe there's a pamphlet that they hand out every week. Maybe you can sponsor the church, give the church some money. Maybe they'll put your information in the booklet. Or maybe you can sponsor events. Maybe buy the breakfast donuts afterwards. Um, let's talk about, you know, neighborhood events. Do you like getting the kids together? 
Maybe you can have a movie night in your driveway, get a projector, a blow up screen, whatever you can do, rent a jumpy castle. All of these things are absolutely you contributing the things you wanna do, but also getting your name out there and showing that you're giving back to your community to have these events and bring people together. And that's where the magic happens. Around that, after you build your sphere and you're doing what you do and you're doing things in the community, let's start using social media as not just a distraction and a time suck, but as a strategic tool to help you build your business. Let's talk about Facebook, for instance. Let's get off of scrolling with the puppies and doing all that and dedicate yourself each and every day to 25 fresh interactions, whether that's commenting on someone's picture, I would say even further than just clicking the like or heart button, that doesn't count. Messaging people, reaching out, uh, helping plan soups, some events and spread that information. 25 unique touches each day on Facebook will absolutely lead you to the next level. If Facebook's not your thing, DMs on Instagram, some people love Twitter, I'm not gonna start dancing on TikTok, but absolutely that's something you could do. But if you take that social media because we focus so much on our image and what we're putting out there and our content and do 25 things to interact with someone else's content, that will continue to bring your name up, continue to build that relationship. So if we take it from the community event to the Facebook or the Instagram page, and we are continuing to um, interact with those people, whether it's you know a simple comment, hey, that's a great picture, or hey, that looks awesome, or where is that? Starting that conversation on those Facebook ads strategically with those people that you like to hang out with will absolutely start those real estate conversations quicker than you would think. So the whole point of all of this video is to do what I just explained 75% of the time. So all in all, you take those five things that we wrote down on the paper and you take three things that you can integrate yourself into those communities by doing sponsorships and just being involved in the community. If it's church, going to the Bible studies, if it's, you know, doing happy hours or anything like that with you know, other parents on teams and things of that nature. Three things that you can absolutely submerge yourself into. Sometimes it's spending a little money with sponsorship. Sometimes it's just as easy as going to the extracurricular activities because that's how these communities work. They have the general idea, you have the team, but then all the parents go to dinner after the games or what that might be. So definitely. Okay, so now that we have our 75% of our time booked with our lead generation, doing things we love to do, building those communities, building those bonds, we're gonna take a look at the 25%. I want you to spend 25% of your time taking one lead generation prospecting idea. Maybe you heard it in a training. Maybe you've heard it your whole life. Maybe you're gonna try door knocking. Maybe you're gonna try, you know, internet leads, or maybe you're gonna try building up a whole new program. Myself, I built Mile High Champions. It's a program where I give some of my commission back to nurses, teachers, first responders, and military so that they can get into a home. This has become something that has been very good for my business because they get into the first home and then they buy, call me to buy the second home and the third home and so on. So building programs like that that you can really pour your soul into for a month at a time, protect one, or perfect one thing one month at a time, do it right, and then at the month's end, you're gonna take a look back. Do you have prospects? Is it gaining traction? Do you enjoy to, do, do you enjoy doing it? If it's working, then absolutely. Let's see if we can push that into the 75%, build on it as we go, and then find something else. Because we all know every single day we get a million phone calls, we get 10 emails, and we get a couple people saying, hey, have you heard this latest and greatest way to build your real estate business? In this model, you can take that one month at a time, one thing at a time, perfect it and see if it's worth your time. If it's not, throw it away. If it is, throw it in the 75% and move on. This will continue to allow you to build and scale and get better as well as move along with the times. As we all know, real estate's changing every single day. So if you're doing you know, one new thing a month, focusing on that for 25% of your time and seeing if that becomes something you wanna do, it's an absolutely valuable tool. So I call it the 75-25 rule. If you do what you love to do and absolutely 
integrate that in your lead generation, which again is the heartbeat of your real estate business, you will be very successful. And then for that 25% of the time, reach out, do the creative stuff, do something new, try and get better at it, try and work it into your business and see if you enjoy it. And if you don't, throw it out. If you do, keep it and continue to build your business, get better every single day and continue to win at the game of real estate. Have a great one. Thanks for tuning in. As always, hit me with a comment. Let me know what you think and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.